picture on Instagram a few weeks ago and since so many of you asked for the recipe, today is your lucky day. I'm going to show you how to make my shredded chicken with butternut squash soup. All you need is a cutting board, a pot, and a blender. So let's get started. To start, we're going to dice the yellow onion and the garlic. To a large pot, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Add in the onions and garlic. Add in a few sprigs of fresh rosemary. Saute for about two minutes. We're gonna boil the chicken for this recipe, and the reason why we're gonna boil it is because later on, once it's boiled, we're gonna shred it. So let's take this raw chicken and put it directly into the pot. And to that, since we're gonna boil the chicken, we're gonna add six cups of water. If you're vegetarian, I'll leave a version for you in the description box below. Add the Himalayan salt to the pot. Bring that to a boil while we go and cut the squash. When you go to buy the squash, don't just pick one up and hope that it's the right weight. Make sure you actually measure it in the grocery store because this one is about 1200 grams and this one is about 1900 grams, which makes a huge difference in the carbs. And we purposely map out the amount of grams to use so that the macros are perfecto. Since the skin of butternut squash is very thin, we're gonna leave it on, but if you really want to, you can peel it off. The first thing we're gonna do is separate the neck from the bulb. Now we're gonna cut off the top. Ooh, so pretty. Flat side down, just cut some slices. And go the other way. Just make sure if you do leave the skin on that you give it a really good wash beforehand. Wash your squash. <laughs> now take the squash and set it aside in a bowl. You can even use the same bowl that you just had the six cups of water in. Now we're gonna cut the bulb in half. Ooh, there's some seeds and some fleshy stuff, so use a spoon and just pop those out. I'm pretty sure fleshy stuff is the technical term. Now place the flat side down again and do what you just did for the other side. Just make sure you cut off that little yucky stuff from the butt. You. Cutting a butternut squash is also really good to get out your aggression. <laughs> I'm angry at immigration! <laughs> Set aside. <laughs> it's okay guys, don't worry, I'm really not that angry. Well, I'm angry, but I'm not gonna hurt anything other than a butternut squash. Once again, as you can see, don't just grab a sweet potato. Make sure it's the right size because this is the size we are looking for. For the sweet potato, we are gonna give it a peel. Cut off the top and the tail, and do the same thing you did for the squash. Cut it up into pieces. About the same size as the butternut squash pieces. Then set aside with the butternut squash. Once the chicken has been boiling for about eight to 10 minutes, you're gonna take it out and put it directly on your cutting board. And then very carefully add in the squash and the sweet, ow. Potatoes. Just make sure you put them in very gently. You might even want to turn your heat down for a second just to get them in there so they don't slash up on you. Bring that back up to a boil and boil for about 10 minutes. Or until the squash is soft enough that you can stick a fork right through it. To shred the chicken, we're gonna use two forks and you're literally just gonna shred it. Now since we cooked the chicken in the water, we basically just made chicken broth, so now you didn't have to spend money and buy chicken broth. Pretty cool, right? Saving money. Oh look, and Giacomo wants some chicken, he's right behind you. Giacomo! <laughs> you scared him. It's like, it's mommy, what the hell was that? Uncle Nicky's crazy. Yeah. He makes scary noises. You're so cute. Now that the chicken has been cooked, the weight will have gone down a little bit to around 500 grams, so you're going to divide it evenly into the meal prep containers, or you can just eyeball it. Ooh, 
Leave the chicken out to cool while we finish off the soup. Once you can easily stick a fork through the squash, it's ready to be blended. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Place the squash and sweet potato into your blender. We're gonna do this in batches. Just make sure that you give this first batch some of the liquid that's in the pot. Using a cup measure, just grab some of the liquid or else the second batch will be very liquidy. And there you go. If you do have to do it in batches, set the first batch aside, and then add in the squash for the second batch. Add in about the same amount of liquid as you did the first time. Now add the butternut squash soup evenly amongst the containers. When you go to eat your soup, I would highly recommend adding some lime juice and some pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are a great source of protein and fat, and they taste so good with the soup. Now I wouldn't recommend adding the pumpkin seeds on top right now because they'll start to get mushy once they're in the fridge. But I'm probably going to add them on top just for the picture, so don't do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> If you're going to store this recipe for more than four days, then you're going to want to put it in your freezer. When you know you're going to eat it the next day, take it out of your freezer and place it in your fridge to thaw. Once it's in your fridge, we would recommend reheating in a saucepan. But we have something so exciting coming for you guys this week. You are going to be mind blown that we finally have an amazing way for you to reheat your meal prep. So stay tuned for that exciting announcement. We finally have the answer to your biggest question of all time. You know the drill guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you thought the recipe looked good, and if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. And definitely leave a comment in this section below because we love answering you guys. Somebody left a comment the other day asking if we pay people to answer our comments. Just want you guys to know, we are the ones answering your comments. We are loving getting to know each and every one of you, especially the ones who comment on every video. I feel like we know you guys now. So keep those comments coming. When you make this recipe, don't forget to post on Instagram. And as you can see, these are some of the pictures that we've gotten from Instagram and Snapchat this week. For those of you who keep asking about Adam and our immigration process of getting him back to the US after our wedding, keep those good vibes coming because they are definitely working their magic. Have a great week, guys. See you next Sunday. Bye. Namaste. In it. So, that's the fun. <laughs> And uh, ah! you could also use them as weights. You could. All right, so we're gonna cut these up now. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.